All right, so today we have something that's very cool. This is a table lamp that is uh, multicolored. It also has an app that you can connect to on your phone to control it. Um, we're gonna put it up here on our piano to light up our, our living room area, and we'll kind of show you how that all works. So in the box, as we pull everything out, there is a small box in the, in the top here. We'll get to that here in just a moment. And here's the actual lamp unit. Now the lamp is not too big, uh, but it does have a touch uh, activated uh, button on the top. You've got the power button, and then it looks like um, it's got some additional buttons on here that we'll go through as we get everything set up. And then in the small box that comes here, it has the power cord, the power adapter, um, and then the instruction manual on how to use everything. So we'll go ahead and get everything plugged in here. Now this is a regular USB uh, cord that plugs into the adapter here, and then it's a USB-C uh, end on this side. So let me go ahead and plug this in here on the side of our piano. And we'll put it up on the top here. Now the plug that we plug this into does have a switch on it, so we'll go ahead and turn that on really quick. And we should see that come on here in just a moment. All right, so there we go. Now in the instruction manual, let's take a look here. And yeah, it does have, so on the very first page, it has a QR code to download the app to control it. So let's go ahead and pull up our QR scanner and we'll download that. Um, and let's see here. Get it on the App Store. So it takes you to the website and then you can just click the appropriate uh, link for your, uh, the, either the Apple Store or the uh, Google Play Store to download that. And then we'll go ahead and download the app here. Um, and now we have that open. So let's go ahead and connect to our uh, our lamp here. I just got to set up a pat or an account here really quick and we'll get that all set up. All right. So we're going to go ahead and hit the register now. We'll set everything up here. creating the password, I had to put in the validation code for my email address. It seems like the, the account creation process is pretty straightforward, just as anything else, creating the password, verifying the password, making sure that everything matches, and then we log in. Okay, so now we're on the app here on the interface, and we're gonna go ahead and add a device. And we'll select our indoor light and click on here and it's connecting via Bluetooth. And we're gonna press the device key for pairing. All right, so you can change the device name here on the app itself. We're going to go ahead and leave it with the default name here. We'll hit complete and we're going to connect to our Wi-Fi network here to uh, get that there. Let's see. Done. And I believe that this is also Okay, so we have that.
connected to our uh, Wi-Fi network. And we will go ahead and go through here. Now, a couple of things that you can look at. There are preset colors on the app itself. Um, so you can do the red, orange, yellow, and it's a nice transition here. You can also set it to music or to the ambient sounds around. So you can see that it's reacting to the sound and the tone of my voice. Um, you can do a soft or a dynamic um, sensitivity. You can also have it play, uh, use your phone to, to capture the sound or you can have the actual unit itself pick it up. Um, or you can do a scene and there's lots of different scenes that they have already in here. There are dark clouds, so that's like a, a lightning storm. There's a sunrise, and it will go up into brighter lights. There's stars, there's night, and that should transition through some of those cooler colors. Uh, there's midnight, and morning, so that's brighter. There's ghost light, or ghost white, so that's <laughs> more of like a a uh, like a flame if you're doing it that way and then there's the wheat field so that's some of your warmer colors you can do special effects um, so you've got the nine basic colors you can do seasons so it's got spring fall winter you can do festival where it's got new year's where it'll go through the different colors easter halloween so that's one that's coming up for us here in just a minute um, we'll tap on halloween here oh it's got the different um, colors within those seasons. So it's got different kinds, uh, different color palettes for the different seasons. You've got Christmas and things like that. Um, let's see here. You can do emotions. So you've got an enthusiastic. If you want to be enthusiastic, you can do an orange or warm. It's got yellows and oranges and reds and deeper reds, energetic, peace, mysterious, fantasy, romantic, things like that. Um, and then it's got food palettes. So fried chicken, you can do kind of a brown. Um, there are nine, or excuse me, 16 million colors that are available through this. So the entire color palette, natural. So you can go through a different types of scenes here. Um, and then, or you can do a DIY um, and you can change it here. So you can do a season and you can do all sorts of different things, smart color matching life you can do a teal or something like that um, and you can change it to anything that you want um, and you can really set this up to be uh, really customized to where you're at it also has a timer so you can set up a timer to where it will go on at at a certain time on certain days and then uh, you can change it that way so we can change it to go off at 8.50, and we'll set that. And when my clock changes here, that should go pretty quick. So there are ways that you can do it, um, and or you can, honestly, you can turn it off and on and with the app itself. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to here we'll turn it to kind of a bluish color. We can dim it all the way down or all the way up. Um, but this is something that is, we are really excited about this. Um, let me look here at the box. But this is something that we'll use. We can uh, have it connect and listen to the music from our piano when we're playing. You can set timers. There's a finger sketch option. So let's go ahead and pull up here again, I got the app here. Let's see what it says about the finger sketch. Uh, let's see. So here on the top, let's go ahead and go over the buttons here. So you have the power button to turn it on and off, but then there's the brightness. So you can either turn it up or you can dim it down by using the minus key. You can turn on the music setting um, by pushing the music note, or you can swap through the colors using the light button on the top. So lots of different things that you can do. Um, 
we are gonna go ahead and try something here. I believe you could probably also enable this with maybe your uh, home assistant or your smart assistant, um, and then you'll be ready to go that way. We'll try that out. But again, this is really versatile. It's gonna be really nice here in our, in our front room, in our living room area. Let me go ahead and just put this back to, now it also goes, aside from having all of the different colors, so you can go here and tap on the spectrum here, but you can go from warm white all the way to cool white and everything in between. So it makes it really nice, um, lots of customizing options. You can use it however you want, but this is really probably where this is gonna live in our house um, and we're excited to have it. So we're looking forward to it. And you know, when you have it set up on that music section, you can use, um, kind of make it as like a light show for your dance party, whatever you wanna do. So we're excited, we're gonna use it and we highly recommend it.